minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition, engines full power, and lift off, go Falcon, go SpaceX, go GPS 37. Vehicles pitching down range. Chamber pressure nominal. At T plus 30 seconds and counting, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Space Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. Now, during the rocket's ascent, we tilt or gibble the engines, and that'll turn the rocket horizontally in a maneuver known as a gravity turn. So the rocket is still going up. Power telemetry nominal. Good call out there. So the rocket is still going up, but now it's also headed horizontally away from the launch pad. Moments ago, we throttled the engines down on the first stage in preparation for max Q or maximum aerodynamic pressure. This is a critical moment during flight Vehicle because, is the supersonic. because the combined stress tr stresses caused by Falcon 9 accelerating through the atmosphere and the ambient static pressure are at their greatest. Max Q. Good call out there for Max Q. The rocket typically needs to go about 17,500 miles per hour horizontally in order to avoid being pulled down to Earth and get into orbit. And to give you an idea of the speed of the rocket, you can track our progress to orbit by keeping an eye on the stage one telemetry at the bottom left hand corner of your screen. Now we're going to have back, chill. another good call out there. We're going to have several events coming up in quick succession, starting with main engine cutoff or MECO, stage separation. Second engine start one or SES one and fairing separation. Main engine cutoff or MECO is where all nine Merlin 1D engines shut down to slow the vehicle down in preparation for stage separation, which is where the first stage separates from the second stage. Followed by this, the MVAC engine on the second stage will light, which is called out as second engine start one or SES one. Now this engine burn lasting several minutes will propel the second stage and the payload to orbit. In addition to these three major events, the fairing halves will separate shortly after SES-1, so keep an eye out for all of these events coming up in just a few moments from now. Nominal trajectory. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. MVAC startup. And there you heard and maybe even saw those events that happened just back to back, which were again Miko stage separation and SES1. Coming up in just a few moments, we should hear the call out for fairing separation. Fairing separation confirmed. Good call out there for fairing separation and a beautiful view of Earth from space. As mentioned earlier, we will be attempting to retrie retrieve these fairing halves using our recovery vessel, Doug, once they fall back to Earth. And these are some absolutely phenomenal views today. Now, we're currently at the T plus four minute mark into today's mission. Next major milestone coming up will be just past the T, six minute, T plus six minute mark, um, which will be the first stage's entry burn. For the entry burn, we'll be relighting three of the M1D engines on the first stage, starting with the center E9 engine, followed shortly after by the E1 and E5 engines. This will help slow down the vehicle as it passes back into Earth's denser, lower atmosphere. We need to slow it down to reduce re-entry forces, which ultimately helps us recover and reuse the first stage. During the entry burn, Falcon 9 is decelerating by firing its Merlin engines, but we're still moving really fast. This causes the vehicle to fly through Merlin's exhaust gases, and this deposits a layer of soot on the vehicle's surface, which is why our flight-proven vehicles look, li look the way they do. That soot comes from the carbon-based fuel that Falcon 9 uses. As you can see on your screen, 
on the bottom left, the first stage is decelerating and heading to its rendezvous point at sea. Now, reusability is, of course, key to lowering the cost of spaceflight, which enables more investment in critical scientific research. The Falcon 9 first stage that is supporting today's mission is... Two nominal trajectories. Another good call out there. The Falcon 9 first stage that is supporting today's mission is flying for its fourth time. And while this booster is on its fourth trip to space, we're working towards qualifying our fleet of Falcon boosters and fairings to support 40 missions each. And for those following along, we're currently at 28 flights of a single Falcon booster, which is absolutely amazing. Increasing Falcon's flight count provides valuable information on repeated reuse, which is a critical element for making life multiplanetary. Coming up in just about 15 seconds from now, we should hear that call out for the first stage entry burn startup. Stage one, entry burn startup. And great call out there for entry burn startup of the Falcon 9 first stage. And you can actually see which engines are lit with that graphic at the lower left hand corner of your screen. Stage one FTS is saved. Stage one entry burn shutdown. And great call out there for entry burn shutdown of the Falcon 9 first stage. The Merlin engines on the Falcon's first stage are optimized for sea leveling, and these achieve 190,000 pounds of thrust during ascent and descent. And while it won't be visible on this webcast, the single MVAC engine on the second stage has a much wetter nozzle and is optimized to operate in space, producing 220,000 pounds of thrust in vacuum. Coming up in couple moments, we will have the landing burn of the first stage. The landing burn is the final burn of the Falcon 9 booster used to reduce the remaining speed of the vehicle in order to allow for a soft touchdown on the drone ship. Now this will be the fourth landing burn of this booster. As I mentioned earlier, this booster previously supported CRS-32. Stage 1 transonic. Another good call out there. This Stage booster 2 has entered terminal guidance. And another good call out. So this booster previously supported CRS-32, a commercial resupply service mission to the International Space Station, a separate secure national security mission, NROL-69, and one Starlink mission. Stage two FTS is saved. Stage one landing burn. And there's that call out for landing burn startup of the Falcon 9 first stage. Landing like deploy. Nominal orbit insertion. And there you saw and heard the call-out. Stage one landing confirmed. There you saw and heard the call-out for successful landing of our Falcon 9 rocket. We also heard the call-out for Seco-1. Again, this was the fourth launch and landing for this first stage. And the second stage is now embarking on its first coast phase, which will last about an hour before a second restart of Merlin Vacuum Engine, also known as SES-2. We're going to take a break during that coast, and we'll return just before SES-2. See you then. <laughs> 